Shalom and welcome. This is Rakam Akapash from Jim Islam, giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rachakadash. When I give double honors unto the elders, the, the apostles, GMS, and Shalom out there to the whole for let's push this truth in all sincerity. Back again with another video. And I'm just going to entitle this one, um, you know, this is what the world is coming to, man. You know, it's absolutely madness. Okay, this world we live in is actually full of confusion, insanity, right? And, you know, you. These these um these types of actions or you know they they're being enabled and and proliferated throughout this kingdom man and, and this is supposed to be pro progressive you know we went to be so called progressing as a society becoming um more in intelligent and and all this business man but you got people out here <laughs> thinking that they're fucking cats man you know what I mean cats and dogs you know whatever. You know, you got people out there believing that men thinking that they're women, women thinking that they're men. They, everybody's losing the, you know, the, the damn minds, man. You know, this place is messed up, man. This is some topsy turvy world, some alternate reality shit. You know, that's going on right now, man. You know, and it needs to be sorted out, man. And, and the Lord is gonna come and put an end to all this madness. Okay, this madness that is being allowed to to spread. Right? It's been allowed to spread, man. All this confusion. Alright? So this article here, you know, I got from the mirror, right? It says, uh, phenomenally, 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 <laughs> however you say that, right? Phenomenally, phenomenally, bright teenage girl identifies as a cat and shows feline behavior. So my question is, how bright is she then? <laughs> she can't distinguish herself from a, a human, from a cat. How bright is she really? Well, because she could do a bit of math. Because she can write a bit of English. Do a bit of science that makes her that makes her bright. Bro, she, she don't she don't know who the hell she is, man. <laughs> what she is. You know? This person is mentally unwell. You know? But you know, if we if we went back 20, 30 years ago or whatever, right? This person would be called smart at all, man. You know, they'd be failing all kinds of so-called supposed IQ tests, right? But nah, nah, they're lauded as, oh, nah. You know, they're just, uh, they're intelligent people, but they're just, uh, you know, they, they think they're a cat, you know. And, and you know, that's, that's, that's all right because, you know, you are how you feel, you know. And, and you know, don't want to upset nobody and all this bullshit, you know. They're people are allowing them to believe whatever they want to believe, man. You know, you got people thinking that they're fucking unicorns out here, man. You know what I'm saying? You know? <laughs> this is fucking crazy. <laughs> you know, this is actually mental, man. All right? So the teenage girl is is uh, is said to be identifying as a cat at, pri at a private school. So she meant to be, she meant to be intelligent. You know, in a private school, right? So in, in Australia, showing animal behavior, the bright teen is being given support by her school as they work out how to approach the issue. Yeah, she needs to go see a shrink. <laughs> you know, just like with the rest of these people that are confused about who and what they are. All right? So, uh, yeah. So the teenager is apparently allowed to act. So, apparently... Okay, they let her act this way. They make it feel that it's acceptable for her to, to behave in this way, man. You know? And obviously it's like wrong with her. You know? But again, they're, they're enabling. Because they don't want to cross these um, political, politically correct, you know, borders, man. Because, you know, this whole, these whole alphabet movements, man. <laughs> they're deadly, they're deadly, um, deadly organizations, man. You know, they'll come and see you in a quick second, man. So, you know, people are trying to be careful and not to upset nobody. They don't want to upset none of these communities, you know, because they, they'll get smacked with all kinds of fucking bad, you know, publicity and all that kind of shit. So, they don't even want to approach the situation, man. All right, that's how mad it is because the world Esau, right. Esau protects this bullshit, right? This is um. 
The teenager is apparently allowed to act like a feline and be non-verbal. Like she don't talk. <laughs> she, me she meows. <laughs> she meows, man. You know, she don't talk. And so the at a private school in Melbourne, as long as it does not become a distraction to her fellow pupils. And this is this is this fucking attitude now. Oh, long, you know, she, she ain't hurting nobody. <laughs> Boy. The school which did not confirm the report said in a statement that students were dis students, plural, right? Were displaying a range of issues from mental health, anxiety, or identity issues. So they are they, they know that science is wrong. But like I said, they're trying to check carefully because you'd have all these fucking communities coming after them, man. <laughs> talking about talking about oppression. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And they'll get all kind of fucked up and whatever, man. But they know science is wrong. They know that this ain't fucking normal. It ain't normal to 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 <laughs> behave like a cat. That that's something you do as a child as uh, during playtime or something. That ain't something you grow up actually believing that you're a cat. You know? The, the, come on, man. She, she, boy, she might have been abused or something, man. She was fucked up in the head. You know? And you got to look at shit like that, man. Because a lot of these children are being abused. You know? So there's a range of issues from mental health, right? And all, all of these... Identity crisis things all down to mental health. You know the demons that are plaguing the minds of these people, man. All right, actually, that, just, that reminds me of something. Reminds me of the scripture, "Plague of the heart." Plague heart. Oops. Uh, this is uh, Sirach twenty-five, verse thirteen says, "Give me any plague." But the plague of the heart, okay, the heart is the mind, right? This is what he's describing, love, you know, in Hebrew it's love, okay, which means mind. This is an, an any wickedness, but the wickedness of a woman, right? So a plague of the mind, man, you, you're not mentally all there, you know? And here's an example of of, um, of the law of plague in um, Nebuchadnezzar, man, right? And he made him, you know, basically be, <laughs> become an ox, Right and graze the field, man. Okay, he, he's actually acting like this woman's acting like a cat. He was acting like an ox, you know. But he was actually going full, full in. Like he, he was grazing the, grazing the earth. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't know if she eats. <laughs> I don't, I don't know if she eats cat food out of a bowl and shit like that. <laughs> but um, you know, most I had Nebuchadnezzar going full on ox mode, man. <laughs> you know, but it's it's it's, like, it's something that's wrong. It's, you know, it's a derangement, right? It's a corruption. Right, Lord said demons to mess that guy up, right? But it's you know, it's the same way with these uh, these people, these you know, they call them the furries, right? People that believe that they're you know, some type of animal, you know, it's a derangement and a corruption, man. You're a human being, man. Like, what the fuck? Okay, you're you're a biped, bi you're a bipedal human being, you've got two legs, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> your, your anatomy is not one of a cat. Right, you, you don't have litters. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. You don't have six nipples, or eight nipples, or all that shit. <laughs> Quite clearly, you're not a cat. You know, you don't have fur. You don't have, you don't have pointy ears. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Whiskers. Like, what the fuck is wrong? But in this world, that's oh, that's a no. I don't know. Is that progressive? You're gonna you're gonna say, you're gonna tell people that's progressive identity. You know. Progressive identities and shit. Like that, is that, is that, you know, is that what you're saying? It's progressive. That becoming a cat is a progressive movement. Like, what the hell? Like, you know, this place is actually mental, bruv. Right? Only in Esau's kingdom, man. Only in this world can can it be the way it is right now, man. The, the, the scope of it. You know. But anyway, moving on. Uh, really said, no one seems to have a protocol for students identifying as animals, right? But the approach has been that if it doesn't disrupt the school, everyone is being supportive. 
No, you can't support that. You we can't support derangements and corruptions in, in society, man. This is the problem. It's the same with anything, man. Anything that is 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 off, anything that's wrong or wicked, right? You can't support it. You can't turn a blind eye to it. You can't you know enable it, man. Because it will it will grow, it will fester. Right? And it'll get worse. You know? Anything. You know, crime, drugs, you know, you, you allow that shit to go on, man. It'll just get worse, man. It's the same with these fucking stupid identity confused people. You're just you're just allowing them to, to multiply, man, and then and, and, and you know they their their mental shape mental state shouldn't be multiplied and you know be seen in the world, man. It needs to be sorted out. Alright? Have the have them back as functioning functional people, you know what I'm saying, as they were at birth. Right? Oh shit. <laughs> so it is believed that they were a the <laughs> Oh right, right, right. It's it uh it is one of a number of cases re recently reported in Australia. In Brisbane, a group of four female students are said to have have taken to walking on all fours, right? And cutting holes in a uniform to make room for tails, which they don't have. That's some phantom limb shit. You know what I'm saying? It, it ain't there. It don't exist. All right? It never had. It never did exist. Oh, but I, but I feel, but I feel like I had a tail. <laughs> oh, I'm laughing, man, but it ain't funny, man. You know what I'm saying? But it's just, it's fucking ridiculous. All right? It says it is believed that they were identifying as either foxes or cats. Claims denied by the school included one from a parent who told the courier mail a girl had screamed at another student for sitting on a towel, again, which weren't there. There is no physical pain associated to, to phantom members that don't exist. That is a mental issue. Right, and it just shows you the mental state of this world, man. It's all messed up. Okay, people, everybody's messed up. In a, <laughs> the mental is all messed up, man, in this world. People that are acting like this and people that believe that they're allowing people to act like this, you know, should, uh, you know, it's okay to do so. It, well, everything's messed up here, man. Cats are just one of the many animals identified within the furry subculture. It's a whole, you know what I'm saying? So it is, it is not confirmed that the girls involved believe themselves to be part of the furry subculture in which people identify with animal traits. Like, come on, man, that can't be a rule. You can't, you can't allow that. You can't say, oh yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah, just if you if you believe you're a cat or whatever, yeah, just yeah, you just be a cat. How can you? How can anybody support that, man? What kind of like there used to be hospitals for, for people like this, you know, to help people like this to help with their issues, man. You know, but now, now, now we just, you know, we we uh, embrace it. We you know, we we we, uh, we encourage it. You know, because that sounds like the right thing to bloody do, right? Bro, this is Babylon for real, man. This is the the the, the land of confusion, right? The land of confusion we're living in right now, man. Okay, and it needs to be destroyed. It needs to be set alright. All right. This is Genesis chapter six, verse eleven. So the earth was also so the earth also was corrupt before the Most High, and the earth was filled with violence. And God looked upon the earth, and behold, it was corrupt, for all flesh had corrupted his way upon the earth. Now, what's a corruption? Something that leaves its natural purpose. Something that leaves, you know, the, from the right way. So, you know, that deviates. So a deviant is something that deviates from from the correct way, right? These people, these sub. Uh, categories of people, these cult, you know, these cultures or whatever, they're all deviants, man. They're all corruptions of what they are, or what they're supposed to be, right? Because their 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 brain is not wired properly, man. Okay, like I said, demons in there, fucking with the wiring. You know, got you believe in all types of shit, man. That just ain't ain't feasible, man. Ain't right, you know. And it was, you know, people were, were corrupt back back then before the Lord brought the flood. 
but for 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 people to return to 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 this way and and you know this this level of corruption that exists right now, man, okay, the Most High is gonna come and bring judgment again, and this is what we keep telling you, man. The Lord is coming to bring judgment, man, to get rid of all this this craziness, you know, because the earth it, it, the earth again is corrupted under the inhabitants thereof, which is Esau. Esau is the ruling the ruling guy in the head seat right now, allowing this stuff to happen, man, and, and promoting it, you know. Is Romans one verse twenty two says professing themselves to be to be wise they became fools like you think you know this this stuff is all right man and or you think it's a good thing and, and a progressive thing for people to identify what the hell that you know to identify as whatever they want to identify as man okay that ain't that ain't wisdom man that's that's stupidity right so you became fools right so then change the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image like made like to corruptible man and to the and to birds and four footed beasts and creeping things. Right, this is, this is all this idol worship, idol making, right? Wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts, to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. Right, the Lord's giving them up unto these 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 weird affections, man. Right? It says, um, who changed the truth of the most high into a lie and worshipped and served the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever among. For this cause God gave them up to unto vile affections. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature, right? So we got, you know, like I said, you got the whole alphabet movements, man. You got women with women, men with men. Okay, women are not performing the roles that they're meant to be performing, right? Like I said, someone want to become cats, cats and dogs, right? Like that ain't what you. That's not what you was made for. You know, despite what you think, that was not your purpose, man. We have cats and dogs. Right, you were made to be a woman or a man or whatever, and there's a certain function that you perform as a man or a woman, as a human. You know what I'm saying? Okay, we don't we don't perform the same functions as a cat, tiger, dog, wolf, whatever. We don't we don't perform the same functions. We have a different function on the earth. All right. This is um. Verse 27, and likewise also the men leaving the natural use of the woman. Okay, that's the men with men, right? As it says, burning in their lust to one toward another, men with men working that which is unseemly. It's unsightly, man. Disgusting, right? And receiving in themselves that recompense of their error, which was meat, right? Because it like I said, it all ends with death and destruction, man. The Lord had done it before with the flood. Because the because the you know the people are corrupting themselves. Okay, and you're pushing and you're pushing this corruption now. It says, um, and, he, and even as they did not like to retain the Most High in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which were not convenient. Thinking your cat is not convenient, and I, you know, I don't know <laughs> what would make you think that, but it is, it is definitely not a convenient thing, right? This girl ain't even talking. Like you actually literally have to guess what the hell she wants. <laughs> Like I said, I don't know what she's actually living at home. She either have a cat bowl or whatever, man. But, you know, she ain't talking to nobody. She ain't communicating with nobody. She can't communicate with a fucking cat. That's dumb. I was actually, I was actually watching a video with this woman. She's into wolves. She thinks she's a wolf, all right? And um, my guy, the one that um, the one that made um, that documentary, What is a Woman? He's asking her about, can you communicate with wolves? <laughs> she's like no but i can read off the you know their social cues their behaviors and stuff like that like you know you know re you know read you know read them you know but she can't talk to them it's like what the fuck are you doing then oh i can tell this and i can tell that but you can't talk to them <laughs> what are you doing you know i think you asked her to, to, to oh can you show me how, how you communicate with, with the wolves and that she's like i don't feel comfortable with that yeah because you're fucking weird you know what I'm saying? You're fucking odd. Like, a, a, a normal person could read cues of animals without actually having to be like one or act, start acting like one. You know? Or, or, no, or not, not necessarily acting like one, because I know some, you know, they, they mimic. But, you know, don't, don't believe that they're one. You know? Shout out to... Um, <laughs> What's his face? 
what was that? What was that? Um, the guy that got killed with a stingray, man. Ray, sorry, Ray. I don't know. I feel like I want to call him Crocodile Dundee, man, because I, I can remember his name. <laughs> but um, yeah, you know, when that died with the stingray, man, he liked to go swimming with the fishes and literally ended up swimming with the fishes. But anyway, you know, you know what I mean, anyway. But yeah, he didn't actually believe he was a fucking stingray or a fucking crocodile or, or you know what I mean? You know, but he was supposed to be able to sort of understand the animals to some degree, <laughs> you know? <laughs> but like you say, you don't fuck around with the animals, man. <laughs> it's not our territory. But anyway, right? Um, yeah, given to a, a, gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. Being filled with all unrighteousness and fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, Full of envy, murder, debate, <laughs> deceit, malignity, whisperers, backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient on parents. They're getting no dams about what the Lord uh, has spoken, man, what he had written down as, as a way of life, right? They don't understand that corruption brings death. That's why they're just so headlong into it, man. They don't feel there's any consequences acting this way. You know, but there is. See, without natural, sorry, without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, impassable, unmerciful. Who, knowing the judgment of the Most High, that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them, right? They're enablers. This world enables wickedness, man. And this wickedness is going to get everyone killed, everyone destroyed, man. That is not responsible. Just because you're going after your own lust, man. Your own vanity. You know. Wreaking confusion around the whole earth, man. Because that's what you want to do. Because you... Because you, you want to ch change the status quo. Or whatever. You know. Well, it's foolish. Is Isaiah 24 verse 3. So the land shall be utterly emptied and utterly spoiled. For the Lord has spoken this word. The earth mourneth and fadeth away. The world languisheth and fadeth away. The haughty people of the earth do languish. The earth is also defiled under the inhabitants thereof. Because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. Therefore have the curse devoured the earth. And they that dwell therein are desolate. Therefore the inhabitants of the earth are burnt a few men left. It says the new wine mourneth, the, the vine languisheth, all the merry hearted do sigh, the mirth of tabret ceaseth, the noise of them that rejoiceth endeth, the joy of the harp ceaseth. Right, I did a video yesterday, uh, Macron, President Macron of France, right, he was saying about this is, you know, you're coming into the end of the time or the end of abundance, right, the end of carelessness, all right, and it's, a, it's the end of many things, man, because this world is coming to an end. Okay, it is the end of all things to do with his kingdom. Right? And the Lord's taking it all away. Right? This is why, we, you know, we, we ain't no happy times really coming, you know, ahead of us, man. These people are going to be hurting, man. These people are going to feel the pain. All right? This is, um, uh, verse 9 said, They should not drink wine with a song. Strong drink shall be bitter to them that drink it. The city of confusion is broken down. And like I said this truly is the city or the land of confusion, beginning with America, because that's that's you know the primary spot. Okay, that is that city of confusion. Okay, but all of Esau's kingdom because he's his influence spans out across the whole earth, man, and it's just full of confusion, man. Right, that's it. This was this one's from, from Australia, man. Like Esau's influence goes out everywhere. You know? So there is crying for white in the streets. All is all joy is darkened and the mirth of the land is gone. The city is left, desol left desolation and the gate is smitten with destruction. Alright, that's what's about to happen to this place, man. It's James chapter 3 verse 13. says, Who is a wise man endued with knowledge among you? Right? Let him shoot out of a good conversation his works with meekness and of wisdom, 
But if ye have bitter envy and strife in your hearts, glory not and lie not against the truth. The wisdom descendeth, this wisdom descendeth not from above, but is earthy, sensual, and devilish. Right, so you got all these, these uh, so called experts and you know, these types of people, right? Saying how, <coughs> you know, we should be understanding to these people who identify as something different to other than what they actually are, you know, and that this somehow is, is part of a progressive society, you know, all this wisdom that is supposed to be coming out, you know, it's just bollocks at the end of the day, they're not coming with true wisdom, this is some earthly witchcraft wisdom that man are trying to, you know, promote, right? It says, for where envy and strife is, there is confusion and evil everywhere. And, and that's all these things have brought into this world, man. You know, all the feminist movements and the LGBT movements. And it just brings bare confusion, bare controversy, bare strife. You know, because of these, these new wicked, stupid ass concepts that are being pushed in the world. And everybody's got to eat it. Everyone's been told you can't speak against it. Everyone says you got it, you gotta accept it, man. But it's just it's just wreaking strife, man. So but the wisdom that is from above, okay, which is these scriptures, we got we law, such as commandments that you know everybody should be living by, which makes everything a hell of a lot simple. You know, a hell of a lot simpler. Right? But the wisdom that is from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, and easy to be entreated. For the mercy and good fruits to, to this type of wisdom that we got in this world, man Doesn't bring forth good fruit It just brings forth more wicked fruit, man Crazy fruit <laughs> More confused fruit That's all it brings That's what it brings Right, so And good fruits without partiality And without hypocrisy And the fruit of righteousness is sown In the peace of, of them that make peace Right this, this, this stuff just brings problems in the world, man they don't even know how to deal with it, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They, you know, they know she's crazy, but you know they don't want to just say it outright. I said, oh, okay, we're we're gonna find help for this girl, you know, but they didn't try not to accept nobody, you know. It's First Corinthians chapter fourteen verse thirty-three. For the Most High is not the author of confusion. Like all this bullshit, man. It's confusing, man. And the Lord. <laughs> Didn't make it to be like this, man. Right? That that is not the right order of things. Okay, you know these people are, are, are corrupt, man. Bringing forth all this confusion. That's why the Lord's gonna do away with them. You know. So for God is not the author of confusion, man. You know, the Most High made it simple, man and woman. Right. Produce seed, create more men and women, children. You know what I'm saying? That is. The order right you weren't meant to become cats and you know swap your sex roles and all this business that's like what are you doing keep it simple stupid you know what i'm saying just what the hell is wrong with you well we know, we know what's wrong you've got demons you've got demons on your on your forehead man you know part part of the curse is the most i you know bringing upon you man It's 1 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 19 says, For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with the Most High, for it is written, He have taken the wise in their own craftiness. Right? The knowledge of this world, is, you know, as it says, is foolishness with the Most High. Because it ain't right. You know? It's nothing but corruption on the earth. We, we all know what the Lord does when the earth is, is become too corrupt. Alright? So, and again, the Lord knoweth the thoughts of the wise that they are vain. Alright, I'm going to close up with this. This is uh, Matthew uh, 13, verse 41. The Son of Man shall send forth his angels, and they shall gather out of his kingdom all things that offend and them that do iniquity. So, anything that ain't right, that's going off, you know, that is corrupted, okay, the Lord is going to do away with them, man. Okay, he says, gather, give, gather out all things which offend. Right, 
And like I said, there's, there's a whole lot of people that are LGBT, uh, you know, community or whatever. Okay, the, the lot of them are going to have to go. Because all of them are corrupted their ways or, or what they're supposed to be, man. You know, the furry community, all of that. Right, we ain't got no, no need for a person who thinks they're a cat or a dog. We ain't got no need for that in the kingdom. Okay, what the hell is that? You know, let's say we've got cats and dogs. We don't need you to act like a cat or a dog. You know? So, yeah, man. The Lord's going to bring judgment for all the corrupted out there, man. All right? Like I said, this place is just, it's just you know, it's madness, man. Okay, and, and this place needs to be destroyed. But anyway, with that, Lord, we're just edifying. And uh, Lord, we'll catch you on the next video, man. So, until then, I say Shalom.